The Life of Gregor Mendel. Gregor Johann Mendel was known for creating the science of genetics. Genetics is the scientific study of heredity. Heredity, the passing down of traits from parents to offspring via genes and chromosomes. Gregor Mendel was one of the most important biologists because he is the father of genetics, who discovered how genetics worked. He was the first person to succeed in predicting how traits are passed from generation to the next. Gregor Mendel was born July 20, 1822, as Johann Mendel. He grew up on a farm. As a child, he worked as a gardener. At the age of 11, a local schoolmaster was impressed by Mendel's passion for learning. He was recommended to attend a secondary school in Trepa to continue his education. In 1840, he graduated with honors and enrolled in a two-year program at the Philosophical Institute of the University of Olmutz to study math and physics. Mendel graduated from the program in 1843. That same year, he began began study to be a monk and joined the Augustinian order at the St. Thomas Monastery in Brno and was given the name Gregor Mendel, had full access to the monastery's extensive library and experimental facilities. In 1849, Mendel was sent to Zenam for a temporary teaching position. Mendel was studying to become a high school teacher, but he failed a teaching certification exam the following year. In 1851, he was sent to the University of Vienna at the monastery's expense to continue his studies in sciences. While there, Mendel studied mathematics and physics. In 1853, upon completing his studies at the University of Vienna, Mendel returned to the monasteries in Bruno and was given a teaching position at a secondary school where he would stay for more than a decade. It was during this time that he began the experiments for which he is best known. Mendel's research between 1856 and 1863. He began his studies on hereditary using mice at St. Thomas Abbey, but his bishop disapproved having this friar studying animal sex. So he switched to pea plant. The pea plant was an excellent plant to study because it has many distinct varieties and because offspring could be quickly and easily produced. He used seven traits to describe his cross-pollinating experiments, which are seed shape, flower color, plant type, seed coat tint, pod shape, unripe pod color, and flower location. His conclusions resulted to these two laws, their law of segregation, which established that there are dominant and recessive traits passed on randomly from parents to offsprings and provided an alternative to blending inheritance, the dominant theory of the time, the and the law of independent assortment, which established that traits were passed on independently of other traits from parents to offspring. In 1865, Mendel delivered two lectures on his findings to the Natural Science Society in Brno who published the results of his studies in their journal the following year. Under the title Experiments on Plant Hybrids, Mendel did little to promote his work. However, and a few references to his work from that time period indicated that much of it had been misunderstood. It was generally thought that Mendel had shown only what was already commonly known at the time. That hybrids eventually revert to the original form. His paper was criticized at the time, but is now considered a seminal work. Gregory Mendel died on January 6, 1884. At the age of 62, he was laid to rest in the monetary's burial plot, and his funeral was well attended. His work, however, was still largely unknown until research, researchers had rediscovered his work, and which is now known as the modern genetics. I wonder what cross-pollination is. One of Mendel's experiment is cross-pollinating. Cross-pollination begins with the parent generation. It's where the yellow and green seed combines. In the self-pollination, F, which is the F1 generation, it does not express any green seed until the F2 generation which has a 3 to 1 ratio. 
on the F3 generation, there's an overall 3 to 1 ratio. There's one that is all yellow seeds. Next one is another 3.3 3 to 1 ratio. And the second, and the third one is a 3 to 1 ratio. The fourth one is all green seeds. Created by Joshua Sinigini, Jashal Sinigini, and Lakaya Halliday.